What's up? How you doing? Here we are, Saturday night. Gonna make sausages, Italian sausages, premium cut meat. Um, anyway, I was thinking years ago, Saturday night was a good night for television. That's not the case anymore. They don't put good shows on Saturday night anymore. But back then, when I was a kid, The Love Boat, Saturday night, Fantasy Island, Saturday night, Mr. Rourke with his powers. I actually go to the Arboretum. It's like a Hellcat. I actually go to the Arboretum where the house that was used where Mr. Rourke lived on Fantasy Island is there. And one year, there's a like a water fountain in the front. They had just cleaned it, the, the people that worked there, just cleaned it, nice clean water, and my kids were little at the time. And they went over there and I was videotaping, I wasn't really watching that side, what they were doing for a few minutes. And I turn around and what do I see? They had taken dirt from the ground and put it into this nice clean water fountain and made it all muddy and disgusting. And then just as we were ready to leave, I noticed the, the crew, the people that had cleaned it half hour before, they came by and they were looking at it and they were like, and I'm like, sorry. You know, but anyway, I used to go to that house quite often. That's where a tattoo would ring the bell. But back then, they had the uh, the shows that they gave you a feeling of well-being. You know, I, I used to enjoy watching The Love Boat, especially. I still enjoy it. Got the DVDs now. Put them in there and check it out. I like the um, I like the swimming pool area, and I like the the dining hall very impressive and always the important people get invited to the captain's table so anyway we're gonna cook these sausages and we're gonna eat look at that fresh fresh quality cuts of meat anyway all right <clears throat> so Sausages and peppers are in there. Another show that I enjoyed watching, Eight is Enough, modern day version of The Waltons. But I really enjoyed that show. Um, the first time I saw Ralph Macchio was on that show as Jeremy, and he was Abby's nephew. Kind of like a bit of a punk, you know. But anyway, uh, good kid went over there. I guess he was a bit of a troublemaker. They sent him over there to calm him down. But the mother, Abby was the, the stepmother, but the original uh, mother had died, I think, after an episode or something in real life. So they replaced her with Abby. And back then, when I would watch it, I thought Abby was the way you call the stepmother thought it was like a, a nickname, like stepmother, you'd say Abby, but that was her name, they all called her Abby, and that guy, Tom Bradford, the father, he was able to support an entire family just by writing a column in the newspaper, I don't know if it was San Francisco Chronicle, or Sacramento, sorry, sorry, so anyway, um, good show, I enjoyed it, you had the son, was it Tommy? was in a band, then the, the older brother, David, was a construction worker, he owned a company, but I used to like that show. Yeah, tonight I think I'm in the mood for a nice old-fashioned boxing fight. Saturday night there's got to be something on. <clears throat> Years ago, me and my father would watch Tuesday night fights every Tuesday night at the kitchen table and uh, we'd watch that, loved that show. Sean O'Grady, Nick Charles, they were on it. Sean O'Grady, great champ, but he was a great analyst when it came to boxing. A very smart guy, Sean O'Grady. I don't know what he's doing now, but I could go for something like that. Or I could watch that show, Naked and Afraid. I think, it, I think it's called Naked and Afraid. They put these people on uh, man and uh, man and woman 
on some remote location and they're naked. They only have with them maybe a, an axe, a knife, something like that, but they're naked. And they have to survive for, I think it's three weeks. Good show. So everything's pretty much done. I'm gonna go inside and eat in a few minutes. So I will mention the Olympics. I am a fan of the Olympics. The winter, you know, they get that curling thing with the, the broomstick where they make the ice nice and uh, shiny and that little, uh, I don't know what that is, a flying saucer, has to move around, try and get it to go as far as you can. It's interesting, I don't know if that's a sport. I mean, is that really a sport? Is my mother sweeping the floor really an athlete? So, anyway, the uh, the sport, the, the event, I guess it's a sport uh, that I like, and I've always liked, ever since I was that big, the ski jumping. I am fascinated with ski jumping. It's like Evil Knievel on skis. But, I remember ABC's Wide World of Sports. They had that guy going down the, uh, the jump there, and they would say in the agony of defeat, and he would tumble and bust his head at the bottom. That guy survived, he's still alive right now. Everybody thought he died back then. Everybody was like, yeah, that guy died. No, he didn't die, he's still alive. But I love ski jumping. To imagine you're going down this steep slope, and then you, you uh, lift off, right? And then you, you get into this weird angle where the skis are here and you're like right here. Your face is right in front of the skis and you're flying through the air. As long as you keep that formation, you will land safely and you'll be okay. But if something happens mid-air where you lose that formation, you will drop like a rock and crash into the ground. It's an amazing thing. You have lift. But these guys are jumping like 700 feet across. And just to put that into perspective, Evil Knievel, when he would jump, would jump like 120, 150 feet. I think the longest jump today is like 300 and something feet, or 400 feet, something like that. It's longer than a football field. But these guys are jumping, and of course, you know, you're jumping in a slope, so you're kind of following the ground. But they're jumping at 700 plus feet. It's crazy. And they're up here, and then and you see some of these uh, these guys when they wipe out, they lose they lose their uh, formation, and then immediately they drop and they crash. I don't even know how they survived that, but I like I could sit and watch that all day. Even when I was little, I was very fascinated with ski jumping. So cool to me. So anyway, uh, gonna go inside and check out some uh, television tonight. That's it. We're done.